Hello, and thank you for joining me for today's book called Abigail the Albatross in Albatross Isle, a bedtime story by Brandon Wild. Far away on an isle in the Antarctic frost, a baby was born. A wandering albatross. Her father stood proudly as she hatched from her egg. Then in soft words, her mother spoke. It's time to give you your name. She plucked the small chick from the nest on the beach as she pointed towards the horizon where the skies kissed the seas. May the winds one day carry you like a ship's sturdy sail. You are an albatross, our daughter now, and your name is Abigail. Father agreed with a smile and mother started to sing as she tucked tiny Abigail in tight under her wing. And she sang as they lay in their soft nest to sleep while Abigail lay quietly across her father's warm feet. Her mother sang a sweet song of the flowers in the spring that would bloom on the isle and of the colors they would bring. A song about sunshine to keep little Abigail warm as the night winds blew heavy with the late winter storm. She sang her warm song through the winter's night chill while Abigail drifted off into dreams. She sang right on through as the cold winds loudly howled and as snowflakes stacked on her long beak. The cold winds would soon turn into spring sunny days and sweet Abigail had grown now in many new ways. Her wingspan could stretch a whale's tail in length. Her beak had grown big, smooth, and pink. And just like her mother who had sang songs for her, sweet Abigail had now learned to sing. They sang now together as the tides came and left. They sang while they flew. They sang in their nest. They sang as father watched as they seemed to dance on the water until they flew home together, father, mother, and daughter. One night while asleep, Abigail had a dream. She had flown away from her isle and was all alone out at sea. She had traveled the world with a great urge to roam and had made a nest there and then called it her home. As autumn's new sun slowly started to rise, the faraway visions had all left Abigail's eyes. She awoke to tell her parents what she'd seen in her dreams and of the nest she had built while out wandering the seas. Father Albatross spoke as great tears filled his eyes. Oh, Abigail, my dear, the Father Albatross cried. It seems you're old enough now to go and wander like me and build your own nest on an isle out at sea. Oh, my sweet Abigail, then Mother Bird said, as she squeezed Abigail tightly and kissed her soft head. The time has raced by, and look now how you've grown, with an urge to go wander and build a nest all your own. She hugged Abigail tightly, and Father did too. We love you, sweet child, Abigail whispered. I love you too. Abigail cried but was ready, for she had dreamed of this day, and above the ocean's great currents, Abigail flew away. She thought of the day when Mother taught her to fly, and of the lives they had shared as the days passed them by. She was proud of her parents, and they were proud of her too, as the tides rolled below, winter's full moon. Night after long night, and day after day, Abigail flew as far as her wings could take her away. She had flown now and wandered for over two months and a week, 
when a sudden surprise had appeared from the sea. She could see that this isle was no home for her nest, but Abigail's wings had grown tired and it seemed a fine place to rest. When she flew down to land and plopped down her big feet, the ground below her trembled and shook. Well, hello, dear. Have a seat. Abigail was surprised but slid down for a look to see what was making the isle speak as it shook. It seemed the island was a whale that had breached for a breath, but he was gentle and kind and let sweet Abigail rest. My name is Abigail and I'm out wandering the sea, and I thank you, kind sir, for letting me rest my sore wings. I've been out searching for months all alone while I roam for a soft place on an isle that I can call home. The whale then spoke again kindly, but with a trembling boom, and as Abigail listened, his giant mouth moved. What makes such a sweet child have such a strong urge to roam, when all the good people who love you are all waiting back home? What is it you're looking for away out here at sea? Oh, my sweet Abigail, it's no place to be. The whale then sighed with a boom, and with a flick of his tail, Abigail's wings caught the breeze like the wind in a sail. And as she started to sing her sweet song of a nest, of an isle for a home with a soft place to rest, a nest on an isle that would bloom in the spring. And as the hours made more days, the days fade to weeks. The month had now neared, and peace had covered the sea. And when the waves were all as calm as slow-falling leaves, Abigail thought to herself that a bath sounded good. And since the waves had all gone, she knew now that she could. With the warm, shining sun, it seemed like a perfect day to swim. But as she plopped down in the still water, up popped a shark's fin. But the fin was just a flipper on a seal with a grin with a fish in his mouth and his twelve fishing friends. I'm a seal with my friends and we're out catching some food. We have plenty to spare if you'd like some too. They shared some of their catch and she thanked the kind seals. You've been generous, sirs. What a fabulous meal. But I've got a long way to go before I find my new home. And the night is now near, so I must wander on. One seal then spoke wisely as he dove back in the sea. Keep traveling west as the warm days proceed. You'll soon find there's an isle that blooms in the spring, with a nest and a family, and friends with to sing. Like the warmth in your heart when you know that you're home, and all the love that you miss out at sea when you roam. The seals quickly disappeared, much like they came. And when the west winds picked up, they called sweet Abigail's name. Her spirit was now lifted as she yelled back at the sea. On west would I go to find the home in my dreams. Abigail's giant wings opened up and caught the westernly breeze. And as the sun set against the calm summer sea, the month that had passed had now turned to a year. But as the morning sun rose, the cloudy skies became clear. And an Antarctic morning seemed to crawl from the sky, as sweet Abigail witnessed in amazing surprise. There, like the dream, was the isle she had wished, a place she could love and the place that she had missed. When she flew down to land, she heard a song and a voice, and as the familiar sounds rose, she began to cry and rejoice. It seemed she'd flown so far west she had circled the globe and ended right back in the place she had known. And waiting for her was all the love that she had missed as Father Bird squeezed Abigail tightly and Mother gave her a kiss. And the three of them hugged as everyone cried and tears made of joy filled their albatross eyes. As the warm sun shined down on the small isle in the sea, and Albatross family was again made complete. It seems the home for an albatross and a nest on an isle. 
belongs in the place where she had hatched as a child. A home on an isle that blooms in the spring. With a family who loves her and with neighbors who sing. Abigail built her small nest near the hill where she hatched. Her mother sang a soft song as father relaxed. So another story begins of a love-filled wandering flight. As another albatross chick is born under the Antarctic moon's soft light. The end.